So hi guys, in today's tutorial we will learning about Stickman animation. I have also uploaded another tutorial on it so please check it out as I will not mention some tools which I have already mentioned in my previous tutorial. So let's talk about what we will be learning today. We will learn about how to download these softwares, walking animations, expressions, camera tool, rooms and background, voices and effects, and text bubbles. Many of you will be wondering what soft do I use, so basically I use Animate CC 2020, Camtasia, as I am poor so I can't afford good softwares, so let me tell you how to download these softwares. Google and then type get into PC, you will find numerous free software here like Animate, After Effects, Premiere Pro, and many more you just need to click on the software, see the requirements and download, you can find password for the RAR files. So now let me tell you how to do smooth walking animation. Here you can see a preview of it, I have an extreme poor PC that's why it's laggy, otherwise it's in 60 FPS smooth walking you will get. So for that we would make a layer and name it as stickman then we would select the line tool and draw our stickman. Remember always select object drawing mode to own when making stickman. Here I will show what will happen if you make it off like this. As you can see I made a stickman without object drawing mode, so if you want to change the style of the stickman, it will get messed up like this. But if you select object drawing mode then look how you can move every part without getting messed up. So let's start the tutorial. Make his full body and now adjust it. After adjusting right click on it and make it a symbol. And then double click on the body, here you will get another timeline. Now right click on the body. And click distribute to layers and then it will get distributed to separate layers. Then delete the empty layer. Now we will start doing our animation. Insert up to 60 frames. And lock all layers select the one which you want to animate and then add a keyframe by pressing F6, now start animating, now animate it at the middle, and then insert another keyframe, then animate the third keyframe to match with the right leg so upon animating it will look smooth, I will just simply copy right leg and paste it on the third frame of the left leg. Now we will add more keyframes to it by clicking and dragging it to up to 30 frames. Now insert shape tween, let me tell you about about what is shape tween, for example if you are doing frame by frame animation like this, it will take an eternity to do and will take lot of time, but the same thing you can do easily with shape tween like this. But shape tween have some defects, I will show you what are the defects and how to overcome it. Now let's add shape tween between these frames. Now as you can see things got messed up, this is the main problem of shape tween but I will tell you how it to fix. Now remove shape tween and add shape tween to others key frames. Look this time it's working awesome. Now to fix the others frames, we will add a keyframe in the middle of the frames and put on our onion tool. Onion tool is used to show the last and next frame. So you have an idea of what you are doing, now animate the leg between middle of the green and blue leg. Now we will add shape tween between these frames, if it worked then it's okay, but if this got messed up then we will do the same, add another keyframe middle of it and animate it and then add shape tweens until it get right. Now we will add more keyframes but this we will make our leg look realistic, as you know when we walk we make our leg lift from the ground. So we will do the same, look I can't tell you how to do this because this thing requires practice but it is very easy, just add keyframe animate, add shape tweens, if it works okay, if doesn't then add keyframe between the middle of the frames and animate it frame by frame. Now our left leg animation is ready. I know you will say it's hard but don't worry, you don't need to do that every time, just copy this leg from the middle and Paste it on the right leg layer and and then copy the remaining part and paste it ahead. Look it looks realistic now. Now we will do the same with hands, we'll just add a keyframe, animate it, add shape tween, we'll add more keyframes if shape tween didnt worked just look what I do.
Now in case of hands, just copy the previous frames ahead like this, and then click those frames and then click reverse frames. Now look it also works the same smooth. Now we will copy the middle frames and paste it on right hand and and then copy the starting frames and paste it ahead. Now look we have ready our walking cycle. Now go back by clicking this error and add frames to this layer to make it move, add a head and classic tween and look it's moving hooray. Now many of you will say, bro it's very hard I can't do that every time, don't worry guys, you don't need to make it every time. JSUT save this and when you want to use this open it, copy this layer and, and wherever you want to use it, paste it there. For those who are animating in After Effects, you can make it as green screen. And then export it as a video and cut the green screen and then you can use it multiple times. Now we will discuss about expressions, as many of are very bad in expressing what is going to the viewer. The main purpose of an animator is to express what is actually he want to portray to the viewer. Bad portraying results in viewers don't get that emotional touch with the animation. IW will suggest you go and watch Alan Becker tutorials on this, as he will help you are. So let's talk about normal expressions. This is the normal expression we make, idle expression. This is the happy moment by just moving the mouth and this is the sad expression, you can make it more sad by adding tears to it, this is the angry expression, you can make it more angry like this. And this is the shocked expression. But the fact how we portray it to the viewer what our animation is feeling, as we don't want our viewer to look elsewhere instead of the animation, so make sure nothing is happening in the background so the all focus is on the animation. And now just add some keyframes like this and and between the middle keyframe make the character eyes and mouth look big, so by this they can get an instant shock reaction which the viewers can see and will make them focus. Look without this, it looks like this, not good enough but if add the what we have done, it will look like this, now this is good, now we can also make it face look bigger so it can catch the viewer's eye more like this. Oh it looks good now. Now I will tell you more about camera, but in doing expression, camera tool has a lot of impact. What if we add the camera tool to it, look how it looks when we make the camera closer. Oh good, now for those who are bad at animating, don't worry, you can just google expressions and make your expression from there, it will help you a lot. So the next thing is camera tool, I will show you how useful is camera tool. You may have seen Axite when he zoom into anything, it didnt loose quality, but when we do it, it become trash. So camera tool is helpful in order to keep the quality, see yourself. Now the first thing we will do is click on camera tool, then you can see a separate layer of camera, you can adjust the camera by yourself with this bar below here. You can even insert keyframes like this and then adjust the bars wherever you want and add classic tween to it, then it will look something like this without getting blur. Now we will learn about rooms images. Now you know I have a separate tutorial on how to make rooms, or go watch it if you are a beginner but most people like Sapro, Wazif Don make their own rooms mostly, they just type vector room images on Google and here you can get a variety of high quality images without making them, it will be easier for you guys to make your lobby, hall, kitchen and bathrooms images, if you want to make your own room, or check out Ma Rooms tutorial. 
The next thing we will learn about is voices and effects, so basically I use text to bot to insert voices like this. You can type text to bot in Google and then select your language, select your voice, enter text and verify your capture and select speak and then select download. A new tab will appear in which you can download the voice, is completely free. As for the effects, I normally use Camtasia which does not provide you with effects but Premiere Pro is great for editing. Here you can get completely free effects for Premiere Pro. Making your own effects takes a lot of time but downloading and using it easy it will help you out guys. The next thing we will learn is text bubbles. I make my own text bubbles in Animate like this. You can see they are totally random. You can make your text bubble with simply anything. I will use a circle tool like this and make a circle and then I will add text to it. I can even make it to more shapes, I can give it little bit effects by making it a symbol and set it to movie clip and then you can see the effects.